Bye, buddy. scaring me. What's going on? Do you remember what I told you about my cat? Tell me your frantic 911 text had something to do with your cat! I drove over here in a panic! This sounds completely insane. Look. John told me about this animal support group that meets on Saturdays at the community center. I think you should go. Eddie is just trying to go for a walk. He's trying to leave me, find someone better. Maybe someone with a bigger pond. Uh, Josh, turtles are like butterflies. If we hold them tightly, they will crush. But if we hold them in our heart, the heart wanes not wanting what the want will wear. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with the group, Josh. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Now, Heather, uh, how is it going with Petey? Oh, he's still swearing like a sailor. It's always <laughs> stupid <laughs> face this or stupid <laughs> pull back that. Even canceled my Ache Beo. I don't know where he's learning it from. Ow! Oh, She's talking about her bird. Heather, I believe it was Shakespeare said, stupid is as stupid doth. Es una palabra de Dios. Yeah. Thank you for sharing, Heather. Now, Jason, how's it going? I mean, it's no use. I try to give her treats she likes, uh, scratch behind her ears, play fetch, and it's like, there's nothing I can do that gets her out of this funk. He's talking about his dog? I got it. I don't know, it seems like every time I get a girlfriend, she gets really depressed. I really don't think it's fair that you make me choose, Kima. Hey. See, she doesn't even, doesn't even listen. Thank you for sharing, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Now, Annie. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready to share. That's okay. We have to get to a point where we can exhale. Okay. <laughs> now, Jane, how about you? It's gotten grotesque at this point. As you all know, I'm saving myself, and it's like my cat is rubbing my virtuous choices in my face. She's shameless, 
constantly sticking her butt up in the air, spreading her legs wide for all to see during my Bible study. I mean, just yesterday, I walked into my bedroom and she was on top of my bed, on top of my pillow, with one leg jammed up in the air and her sandpaper tongue buried in her little kitty flower. It was pornographic. I was talking about my cat. Thank you so much for coming over. <laughs> The chi has been disrupted here. I sense disgust. I sense hatred. I sense anger. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, so much anger, pure rage. I sense some kind of conspiring under this roof. I knew it. I'll speak to the Grimalkin of the household. Your cat! wants you dead. What? Yes. Is there anything that can be done? Well, he's pretty adamant about these things, but I was able to get him to agree to a potential peace offering ceremony. I would come back for a fee, of course, and I would graciously perform the ritual. You know what? Thank you very much for coming over and meeting with me, but all this I is a little- I would not cross a fee line twice once peace has been offered. And I appreciate that, but I just need to give this whole thing some thought. I understand. Lift, lift. So I've been trying to go on this date with this girl Andrea for weeks now, and it finally works out that she was free on Saturday. And she is, she's hot. Nice bosoms, lady madams. You know, the gift of a uh, swollen motherhood. Talk about that. I mean, her brain is huge and smart too, because she's a very intellectual female person. Anyway, so bring her back to my place. I'm making out, and she takes off her shirt, and her womanly bean bags are so nice, um, like a breastful cornucopia of Thanksgiving bounty. Um, and I'm just about to, you know, like anchor Plymouth Rock, uh, and when Kima starts, she starts whimpering, and she won't stop, and she's like scratching at the door. And, I mean, Andrea is for real, like, she's really hot. I mean, she's a very intellectual woman that I respect, but, I mean, man's best friend, you know? Look at that face. Look at that doggy face. Look at that old doggy face. She's so cute. She's so cute. Thank you for sharing, Jason.
phone. Something bad happened when I was house sitting. What, what are you talking about? What happened? I found these pictures in the basement. Did you steal these from my grandma's house? I think I was meant to find them. These are photos from the 1800s. Each photo has a dead body and a cat in it. They're disgusting. I know. Do you see this last one? Oh. Does that cat look familiar to you? Okay, please do not tell me you think this has something to do with your cat. Look what it says on the back. Achilles Feline. Okay, you know I love you, right? Listen to me. I did some research. There's an ancient legend about a dark wizard named Ramekin who lived way back in the Victorian area. Some of the locals didn't like the wizard. They thought that witchcraft was a little too Iron Maiden. So they tortured and killed the wizard's pet cat, Whiskers. The wizard was furious. He went on an all-you-can-slay murder spree, killing everyone who harmed Whiskers. The wizard was hunted down and trapped by the village people in the Wymaka Forest. He was found guilty of witchcraft, wrongful murder. He was burned at the stake. That is a horrible story. I know. But that's not the end of the story. It was then said that the wizard would possess house cats in need, that he would give them magic powers to eradicate unscrupulous humans. He called it Equilius Feline. The Aaron, those are two Latin words. They mean feline equal. Equilas Felnine was written on my wall last week in blood. Okay, possession and evil ramekin, the dark wizard. Isn't a ramekin one of those dishes for sauce or gravy? I don't know if it's a, a ramekin ramekin. It's an old timey name. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Aaron. I need you to believe me, that you don't just think I'm going crazy here. I believe if you believe. I know you wouldn't intentionally make this kind of stuff up. Listen, isn't that animal psychic coming over in a few weeks to like cleanse your cat's aura or something? Yeah, but he's coming over to perform a peace offering ceremony. Okay, good. This is all good. And when he gets here and he performs a ceremony, I believe that if you believe what he's doing is real, then it is real. Have you been going to that animal support group? Yeah. It's not helping. My cat came up and she started dragging her butt on the ground around me. And then she started meowing as if she was really enjoying the the friction of the carpet on her kitty box. She thinks I'm a loser because I haven't had carnal relations with a man and um, she's provoking me to stop loving him and to find physical love in another. Thank you for sharing, Jane. Thank you, Thank you Jane. Now, Josh, how's it going with Eddie? Well, I did like you suggested and stopped trying to metaphorically crush the butterfly. Good. And? He ran away three days ago. But I'm confident that when the time is right, he will come back. 
Very brave of you, Josh. I'm proud of you. Now, Annie, you've been with us now for several weeks, and I'm sure you have something that you want to share, so I think now's the time to share it. Um, I'm really scared, you guys. I don't know what to do. I'm not really sleeping, and... Um, he lives with me, and I don't, I only have like one studio apartment, and I, I don't, I don't know. It's fine though, it's fine. Um, yeah. Don't be scared. No one has a manual with all the instructions, yes? Yates once said that meow is woof in cat, right? So Annie, don't let your cat cry woof, okay? I should stop singing or in the shower or like maybe he just like doesn't I don't know maybe it's my smell maybe I have a weird smell it's my fault it's probably me it's probably me it's no big deal uh, I'm sorry you guys I whew, I just it's so stupid it's just not it's like a, it's like a dumb bird and a turtle like put the turtle in a freaking cage like it's so easy for you you know and like maybe I don't know just have sex with a guy you're like 30 years old what's wrong with you like, you know, he's like, maybe your cat will stop, like, rubbing its, like, area all over your area, you know? I just, like, I can't listen to it one more time. Like, my cat is trying to harm me, and you, I mean, seriously, it's so easy. I'm sorry, you guys, you're really, you're very nice to me, and I'm like, <sighs> it's fine. I'm really sorry your turtle left you, man. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really, you know. It's really, it's really weird, and um, it's really sad, and um, it's just, you know, how fast can a turtle go? Can you catch the turtle? Can you just like go and get it? Like, is it right there? Did, how long ago did it run away from you? Like, like, tw like yesterday? It's probably just like a half mile down the street. Like, how hard is that? How hard is it to keep a turtle? You know, it's like, I don't. It's fine. I'm being so mean to you right now. And do you, do, you, do you want to know why your bird is cursing? Because every other word you say, it's a goddamn swear word. He's learning from you, you idiot. I'm sorry, that was so mean. I'm sorry, that was rude. Thank you. Thanks. I, I felt better. I feel better now. I feel better now. Aiden. Um, I know I did some really stupid things in the past. <clears throat> I'm sorry for stepping on your tail. It was really stupid and I acted like it wasn't a big deal. Mm -hmm. And it obviously meant a lot to you. Um, I promise that in the future I will be a, a, a loving cat mom to you and not step on your tail in the future. The end. And now, Aiden Grimalkin of the household, Annie will offer a very generous peace offering. Do you want me to throw that no, away? No, that is his favorite. Um, Aiden, I got you this really nice and soft, so soft, kitty bed. Um, and I got you this really great scratch board. Let's see, let's keep those claws filed down. Okay, um, and I got you a personal favorite, some cat grass, Aiden. Look at how green, ow! How green it is. Um, so, here's the 
here you go. Uh, and that's... Uh, I will also give you tuna every other week. Uh -huh. I mean every week. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will keep your cat grass green. Um, keep changing it out. And um, I will um, stop making you wear idiotic pet costumes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I will stop singing in the shower. And... Um, what does he want from me? My firstborn? Oh, you're in luck. He accepts. <laughs> Tuna goddess, little lord, thank you for your gracious bounty on this household. Let us exit the sacred circle with a meow. Okay. Meow. 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 Okay, stop. Meow. Yes, we're done.
Remember me? I'm so sorry for your loss. Annie loved you so much. I know this must all be so confusing to you, but I just want you to know I'm going to take care of you from now on, okay? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.